As of the week of March 19, 2023, these are the top volcano-related news stories. On the border region of Colombia and Ecuador, an energetic earthquake storm continued at a volcano which has likely not erupted in at least 10,000 and perhaps as much as 50,000 years. In the United States, the alert level of three volcanoes was lowered due to a decrease in activity, and in Alaska, ground deformation was possibly detected at the Aniakchak volcano. The Aniakchak volcano is located in a fairly remote section of southwestern Alaska on the Alaskan Peninsula, where it is 20 miles east of the town of Port Hayden. Whereas there used to be a 7,000-foot-high glacier-covered stratovolcano, there is now only a massive 6-mile-wide and slightly more than 2,000-foot-deep hole in the ground referred to as a caldera. Ever since its two caldera-forming eruptions occurred, eruptions within it have been infrequent, but when they do occur have been, for the most part, highly explosive. For example, Aniakchak's last two verified eruptions in 1931 and 1531 were one-third and two-thirds the size of the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, respectively. Aniakchak's alert level had not been raised since it last erupted in 1931, that was, until February 22nd of 2023. The primary reason for this sudden change in alert level via an increase in green to yellow was numerous earthquakes which were suspected to be volcanic in origin and have gotten progressively shallower over the last year. It is now nearly a month later since this change that was presumed to have a magmatic component to it, and we may have finally received proof that it is. Satellite data taken around March 11th seems to show a possible uplift in the center of its caldera just northeast of Vent Mountain, which has uplifted a patch of ground by about half an inch. However, the number of earthquakes which have occurred during this period have not been all that substantial, and as a result, I believe whatever magmatic intrusion is ongoing is quite insignificant, at least for now, and has not interacted with Aniakchak's hydrothermal system. On the border of Ecuador and Colombia is a fairly large volcanic field with two stratovolcanoes known as Chile's Cerro Negro. It has not produced a confirmed eruption in historic time, yet has been the site of some of Ecuador's most numerous earthquakes with tens of thousands of earthquakes occurring in several earthquake swarms. Another such earthquake swarm began at this complex, which is still at an alert level of yellow on March 9, 2023, and quickly escalated to include more than 200 primarily volcano tectonic earthquakes an hour. For context, volcano tectonic earthquakes are some of the most common quakes to occur at volcanoes. Per a direct quote from the U.S. Geological Survey, volcano tectonic VT, earthquakes represent brittle failure of rock with the same process that occurs along purely tectonic faults such as the San Andreas Fault. At volcanoes, VT events can occur due to normal tectonic forces, changing stresses caused by moving magma, and movement of fluids through pre-existing cracks. In my opinion, these earthquakes are either indirectly or directly caused by magma, but in my opinion, I would not worry about an eruption occurring anytime soon. This volcano has not erupted in a substantial amount of time. Earthquake storms of a similar rate and average magnitude, which began on March 9, 2023, are surprisingly common, and this volcano has been undergoing an on and off uplift cycle since at least the mid 2000s. And within the United States, the alert level of three volcanoes were lowered on the same day, March 16, 2023. The alert level of the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii was finally decreased from yellow to green after its last eruption ended in December of 2022, and no abnormal levels of activity are currently detected at the volcano. Meanwhile, the alert levels were lowered at both the Tanaga and Takahuinga volcanoes from orange to yellow in Alaska, as their once energetic earthquake storm has almost completely halted and an eruption in the next week now seems incredibly unlikely. Thus, only two volcanoes are currently erupting in the United States, the IE Seamount volcano in the northern Mariana Islands, and Great Sitkin in Alaska. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on March 18th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.